Good morning guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to Lady who's always watching to see whoever comes out of that house. It's not super warm out today, but it's not so cold. Like it could be, it could be winter. You guys probably can't see, but you guys remember we got this big giant bag of treats for $25. All right, there we go. So we got this big giant bag of treats, Perina, for $25 at the beginning of the summer. I'm always afraid to put my hands in here because I always think there's gonna be a mouse. Anyway, my point is that this bag still lasts. This is the best value for horse treats that you can get. Like, I bet you this lasted us at least four months. So uh, we're just out doing our afternoon check. <laughs> and I'm being stalked. <laughs> A second ago, I showed you guys a lady who was not at the, she was back at the gate. And she stalks us to see who, where we are. She listens to see where we are because she's worried that maybe we might want her for something. That's what, how nice of a horse she is. Look at her forelock, it's growing. Uh, hi, baby. <laughs> hi. I love this baby. There was a time where I thought she was annoying like when she was one, but now I just am obsessed with her. Sophie's actually done such a good job with her. So I saw a comment the other day that asked me, Laura, how come you don't show? Is it just not something that you're into? I wanna start doing like comment of the day through to the Christmas season. I always like to do that. Uh, showing has never been my big thing. I'm not good at remembering courses, but when we had our old horse, when we had our old horse, Stella, I had a lot of kids on our channel. We used to have a lot of kids on our channel. When our girls were really active in the channel, then our, we had a lot of kids on our channel. And they, some kids, most of the people, a lot of kids could see the value in Stella. She wasn't perfect. She was kind of a rescue. And some kids thought that she wasn't worth anything. They thought she was awful. They wouldn't, didn't want her. They wouldn't have never wanted her. And I wanted to prove to them. I wanted to show them that, that there's value in every life. My sister, who's the animal control officer, she taught me that there's, there's value in all life. And it doesn't have to be purebred. It doesn't have to be the most gorgeous confirmation. It doesn't have to be like everything perfect. There's value in all life, right? She's like, I don't kiss, I'm not a kissing horse. Anyway, um, so I did show her. I did show her. I went in the show and there was maybe one, two, three, four, maybe there was five people. <laughs> okay. Five people in the show. I was against Sophie. And I was against Sophie. And I, like, I, I didn't know anything. Like, I was, like, really, I tried my best, you guys. I had to remember the course. We did walk, trot, poles. It was poles, yeah. walk, trot, poles. And there was another adult in the class and the other adult was Storm's old owner. Uh, she just had a new horse and the horse was new and the horse was just starting out. So it was because of the horse that she was in walk, trot, poles, like she knew how to ride. I didn't know how to ride. <laughs> and Sophie <laughs> beat me. Sophie came first. I gotta find that video, I gotta post it. I also want to start posting like more of our old videos, like parts of them and, and just like, anyways. So Sophie beat me, she got champion and then I got reserve champion. I don't know how I did it. It was against Sophie, two other little girls and then another adult and I got reserve champion. Like I, I don't know what happened and I still have the ribbons. They are in my bedroom hanging up on my dresser and we've moved houses and I still put it there because I wanted to remind me, listen, <laughs> It's not all about you. I wanted it to remind me. <laughs> I wanted it to remind me always that all life has value. And I, I want you guys to know that too. Like all life has value. Even the bumblebees that scare the heck out of you. <laughs> Even like the snakes that I hate. But all life has value. And I also want to remember Stella and the beauty that she was. Like having Penny now, I can remember with Stella was the loveliest girl. She was so sweet. She like, we got the mini to be her best friend and she loved the mini. Like she loved other horses. She loved everyone. Penny, she's not that kind of horse. 
And you know what? It's okay because her life has value too. And I love her and I love everything about her. She's not a happy, friendly kind of girl. And that's okay. I brought a treat for you because you're behaving. I gotta hurry up before, here you take three because they're gonna push you off. Uh oh, quick, quick, take it. Hurry up, take it. <laughs> but I want you guys to know that too. When I was growing up, it was a lot like people expected girls especially to be happy all the time and to be friendly all the time and if you're not that kind of a person <laughs> if you're not that kind of a person then you're just not that kind of a person every life has value every personality trait has value as Penny comes walking over with her ears pinned far back to make everybody hey you don't get any more treats now. Like, that's just mean. Nope. Sorry. Your life has value, but <laughs> you can't be mean. I don't believe in physical violence. All right. One more for you. And one more for you. Yeah, Storm's always in the shelter. He's keeping himself warm, you guys. With food and a shelter. Yeah, you're nice and warm. You're not cold at all. Oh, he loves this. If you want to bond with Storm, this is all you got to do. For the next couple of months, I want to start going back and remembering parts of like our old videos. Like we used to do it before, Flashback Fridays, but and post like the whole video. I want to just take out pieces, like my favorite pieces out of an old video and tack it on the end of each day's video or a few days a week's video. I think that would be so much fun. You guys are looking, you guys are looking grungy. You got dirt on you, buddy. Yeah, I had horse treats. I don't know if you'd like them. I don't have any left because I gave them all. Nope. The truth is I have like a little bit of empty nest syndrome. Like the girls are so much bigger. It's school time it's like the fall everybody's worried busy doing their their studies and stuff Posey's looking a lot better she doesn't look pregnant anymore <laughs> her belly's back to normal your belly's back to normal I keep a really close eye on her weight to make sure that she doesn't get overweight because it's really easy for pigs especially girl pigs to become overweight and she looks really good she's looking really good Everyone looks miserable though. They're all like, let me in. Actually, she must have she must have got rid of all that because she's really looking a lot thinner. You're really looking a lot thinner, yeah. I know. You want more food. Say hi. I know. You guys got nice warm fuzzy coats. I'm sorry. Anyway, I just came down to check on you guys. Make sure everybody's good. Make sure everybody's got the food. All the food they need. All the water they need. Everybody's happy. I don't know if they're happy. <laughs> they're more like... <laughs> Lola! What's wrong, Lola? Isn't she such a, such a sweet goat? The reason that I love this goat is because she took two babies that I gave to her this past summer. I gave her two babies. These two babies right here. Get off the pig. She's not a footstool. So I gave her these two babies and I said, listen, these guys need a mama to protect them from the other big goats. And she did that. She took them and she loved them and they are so close now. Like, so close. And... This goat over here, which is like ugh, pure trouble. She's just all trouble. 150% trouble. <laughs> She's mean. She hurts people. She doesn't let anybody eat. She's just mean. But I do love her. And the reason that I love her and the reason that I keep her, because I don't want like a mean herd. They're best friends now. The reason I keep her is because she also is really good with babies. So when all the mamas start having babies every, when all the mamas start having babies in the spring and we bring the babies outside and the baby accidentally tries to nurse 
from her and it's not her baby, she doesn't freak out. She doesn't throw a fit. She's really good to babies. She might not be good with the younger goats, but she is really good to the babies and I appreciate that. And I, I, I love that about her. And like I said, all life has value, even with mean, grouchy personalities. Look at Posey literally lost like 10 pounds after that. She looks like she, she's like completely normal now. I can't even get over it. That's how much grain she, she didn't even eat that much grain, but you're looking so much better now, Pose. I'm so glad I have you to throw down hay. Climb up those stairs. Ugh! This is heavy, but it's still nice and green. Ugh! Ugh! There we go. That'll be good for tonight. Thank you. Perfect. So yesterday I was cleaning the bathroom and I found this underneath the cabinet in the bathroom and it's a Sex in the City complete DVD collection of Sex in the City. It's just a movie. It's a TV show. I never watched it. It was kind of like above my age group when it came out but I heard that it's really good. That's what I hate about winter is that you're always like we sit more, we watch more TV and I, in the summer we never sit and watch TV. We are always outside in the summer. I hate being inside. I hate being stuck inside but it is cold out there. The light burned out in the chicken coop you guys. Can We're you um, track it? I don't know if it's still plugged in. Look everybody's happy in here you guys can't see but they're all happy. All right, so Sophie and I are out in the kitchen chicken coop. We got Sophie's phone. And we're waiting for Sam. Because we cannot do chicken chores in the dark. Chicken chores just got harder, Sophie. Oh no. Look how big she's getting. Biscuit, you're a grown up now. She says the name of a baby though. The light burnt out. Drama in the chicken coop again. <laughs> Check to make sure it's plugged in. Yeah, I I turned it on and it went bloop and popped. Well, that was your fault, Mom. I blame you. There we go. Everybody's got water and food in here. Okay, maybe let him through. This doesn't look like it's in. Oh. Mom, you're <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I got nothing. Anyways, these guys are looking a lot better. There's some raspberries. I think everyone has water. And some pineapple. They just need food. All right, let's get everybody some food. Look, that little chicken is trying to. That's the ducks. The ducks say I need that they need something. Look, everybody's integrated. How long did that take? Less than a week. <laughs> no, when I came in, they didn't run to me like they normally do. Raspberries for my ducks. Here. Ew, ew, ew. Why I know. I need to I need to clean out this coop this weekend. But yeah, everybody's getting happy. <laughs> He's got pineapple. Oh let you can't jump out. Look, everybody's happy for the most part. And they're almost the same size. Well, they're getting close. <laughs> Sophie went to get the buckets to fill them up with water, and then she came back out and she's like, I forgot the buckets. <laughs> I did. So, what did you get to the sink? And then you're like, I forgot? I was like, what did I get? <laughs> Can you pull this off? So, I have these little tiny buckets. No, I wanted like these size of buckets. I don't know if we have any left. Like the little green one. Well, those are basically the same. Just basically oh, I really. And if we bring those, we're gonna have to bring like five of them to fill up one bucket. So, so we're gonna let me explain. Okay. Selfie says she'll carry it. So, the problem is that. What is the problem? <laughs> no, I don't have the problem. Your head. You guys, I swear, you get dumber when the sun. <laughs> on my head. When the time change happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I was walking her into a tree. Yeah, I could feel I don't know, if you can't have fun. Ow! I would have tripped you for the things. Oh man, I guess my point is that Ooh, we're carrying a couple of buckets. So like, now that the boys have a new stall, we're taking the water bucket out of their old stall every night and oh, morning, the putting it in the other stall. Yeah, I really like those little buckets. Hey, this lady. She's like, hey, come do stuff with me. I know, Gracie too. Even though she pulled the shoe. I know. Because you jinxed it. I blame you. How did I jinx it? You told Brandon. She never pulls shoes when her shoes are loose. <laughs> I jinxed it. The next day, pull the shoe. So a lady doesn't have a problem pulling shoes. Don't jinx it again. It was a, I swear, it was a, she pulls her other shoe. <laughs> it was a fluke. You lied to me. They have a bucket? Yes. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but it's a huge bucket and I hate that bucket. Winston, Ziggy, a oh, good boy. Get in your stomach. <laughs> push up, push up, push, 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 push. Good boy! <laughs> Tilly is the biggest big bag of all big bags. You don't know what that means, but that's good. I'm pretty sure that is not any of the new slang. <laughs> Did you know that Posey has a big back? I think. Posey is the biggest big back of all the big backs. Do you know what big back means? No, what does it mean? Please don't let it be really disgusting. Fatty. She's fat. You don't think Posey's fatter than Tilly? I forgot about Posey. <laughs> <sighs> all the goats are a good weight. Can you give me some hay? Uh, no, I well, haven't. Well, I don't want to have to go through the store. Give me hay. No. Give me oh, All right, go back. I swear, if you throw it at me, I'm ending you. Whoa. So Why that's probably mind? how much grain that, maybe a little less than this that Posey ate the other day. This barn is like the most photogenic Korea. place. I'm cold. I want to get done. I love, I'm loving this you know, weather. Can... Sadly, another light burnt out. I can see that. Okay, Posey, I'm going to let you in here. Don't you run anywhere but to your bed. This is what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to take this bucket, now that we have a better one for Posey, I'm gonna take this one for the ducks. I've actually never been able to find a really good duck water or a pig water. Um, Mom. Look, this is perfect for the pigs. I mean, for the ducks. Go swim gonna... in it. Yeah, so? Um, you wanna know a really good duck water? Yeah. A pond. Yeah, that works. Um, okay, how many have ever been hanged? All right, open the door for me. Bro, you have two hands. Bro. I have, my, both my hands are full. Wow, walk wow, wow. I literally need to take stock. I, I need to make a list. Sam, I need to make a list of all the things I need. Did you lock that back door? Did I? It's closed. Well, then probably. <laughs> probably. We come down in the morning and everybody's like eating. No, don't say that. Um, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Anyways, I need like... I need like, I just need to buy like 10 more feed pans and water pans. That kind of is not locked. So that I have enough. It's, it's pretty low. Pans. I, every time I come down, I think I bought enough. I come down, I need more. The door is locked. Sophie, check the door. I did. It is locked. It's kind of been a crazy day. Rainy and wet and kind of cold. But it's always like nicer first thing in the morning and late at night. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I'm sorry about the black footage. I like shooting at night now. I never did before, but. Oh, here, this is yours. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this bucket and put it in for the ducks. Don't you know that you're beautiful?